we're going to the post office right now. Someone sent us some shit. I get like emails every time someone sends something. I don't know if like when y'all sent something, I think your company sent something by the way that like the return address looks. So I think it's a company. But we're on our way to the post office. It's not far, so we decided to take a nice little walk. Danny's here too. See you at the post office. Bye. All right, so we're not actually there yet, but it's hot as fuck and I'm sweaty, so I'm gonna take my hoodie off. Perfect. Much better. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's like a family of geese back there. I just got some really cute pictures of them. So here's some really cute pictures of geese, I think. I don't know, I couldn't really tell. It was very glary on the screen. So hopefully they're in focus. At the post office. Secured. Someone just let me do that, and that's embarrassing. <laughs> but the package has been secured. It looks like it's from Amazon, but it's not. I think it's retaped. I don't know. We'll see what's in here. Professor X and we're back. Someone finally sent something to our P.O. box. P.O. box address is in the description of every video. We love it when people send us stuff. Um, I think this is from a company. I'd love it if like someone that's not a company sent us something. Even like just like a little letter like, hey man, you're doing great. That'd be cool. That'd be some cool shit. Just saying. You could be the first. If you're the first person to send something in that isn't a company, I'll feature it on the channel. Whatever it is. It could just be a letter. It could be like a hate letter. It could be like a horrible drawing of me. I'll whatever it is, it, it I'll I'll fucking showcase the shit out of it. Anyway, we're gonna open up this. It's in an Amazon Prime thing. I don't think it came from Amazon. Uh it's it looks like it was just like an Amazon box that they retaped together, to be honest. But <laughs> it is like the next day. We went to the PO box yesterday. I shaved since then. So sorry if in, in the beginning of this video, I had a longer beard than I do now. Whoops. Yeah, and this is definitely gonna be some products. Three products? Four products? It's four. We got four, four things in here. All right, let's open some shit up. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna open this one, this is on top, and it's, I think, the smallest. So we're gonna open that one first. We're gonna see what it what it is. And then we're gonna, we'll use at least one of these things today. Today we'll use at least one thing. This is the Wax Made Honey Knife. Sorry, I had like a, like a burpee. Jeez. Anyway, uh, it's very well wrapped. And we're gonna get it out. There it is. Oh, it's actually really nice looking. They're honey knife. It's 400 mAh battery, 510 thread. It's got two heating modes, five clicks to turn it on and off, hold it down to heat, or you can use two clicks to auto heat. There's three modes of heat. And one coda going absolutely apeshit at the front door. Green's the lowest, then blue, then yellow, then red. <laughs> My man's going nuts. Ooh, almost dropped everything. Maybe he's done. It's nice though. I like it. It's clean looking, you know what I mean? Just got this little clear cap. Boop, and there's your knife. That's cool. We'll probably use that today. All right, let's see. This is the biggest one. We should do that last. I never save the biggest shit for last. Not in any of the other videos we do. This one we are. We're gonna open them all, but we're just gonna open that one last. <laughs> this is, oh, this is cool. What kind of, the Honey Mod. It has a Honey Mod, a dab tool, USB-C cable, a quartz coil, a seal ring, a cotton swab, and a quartz ball. And it looks like a regular ass vape. Like, if I saw someone using this, I would just think this is a regular ass vape. <laughs> That's cool as shit. What else we got? This is the next smallest thing. Doing all the small shit. <laughs> There's one more thing in this box and then we'll use one of them. 
Maybe that, because that's kind of cool. We can take that out and no one would know what it is. This is like another little, this is the, the honey pen. And it refused, th that refused to break. Oh shit. <laughs> this is pretty as shit too. It's purple and it's tall. It's big. It looks like a marker. It does kind of look like a marker. I'll have to check that out too. And then finally, this is the last thing they sent me. And this is something else that we don't know. This is the honey cup. So we got the honey pen, the honey cup. This is, this is not, I don't like that. <laughs> it just broke. And this one looks like it's probably gonna look like a little cup. Look at that. It's a little white cup in there. That's pretty cool. Oh my God, that's so cute. It is. Comes with a cup rig, dab tool, quartz coil, cotton swab, quartz ball. This comes with a honey pen kit, USB-C, user manual, quartz ball, cotton swab. All right, which one should we use on this fine occasion? I think I kind of want to use this one because this looks like a regular vape you would see someone out using in public. And I have to go out in public later today. So maybe I'll take it with me. So we're going to take this out. This is called the honey mod. Swoop, it opens up like that. It has this little thing in the back. It's got like a glass piece, a couple of cotton swabs, it's got a dab tool in there. You got some turt pearls and a USB-C charger. Everything they told us was on the back. <laughs> and our instruction manual that Danny's gonna go over Yay. real quick. In here we got a couple things. We got a bucket, a second bucket, two atomizers. Give it up for wax made y'all. It's something I've been complaining about in a lot of my videos is the fact that these companies only started including one atomizer with their shit. Finally, a company that gave us two. I will give them props where it is due. That That's an amazing thing and I applaud you for it. Thank you very much. All right, so we're gonna unscrew this first. Just so gonna unscrew that. We're gonna take this apart. That just comes right off. We're gonna screw. Are these buckets different? Is there any difference to them? They look the same. So I'm assuming they're the same. Yeah, two quartz coil. It says it, two quartz coils, okay, bet. So that just slides in like that. It's got adjustable airflow. Bro, this shit is fucking dope. That just goes down like that. Bro, this thing is fucking sexy. I love this. All right, and then this screws back on like that. And that whole top piece just sits on top. This thing is dope. All right, boom. Adjustable airflow, we're gonna put that all the way wide open. For today, we're gonna use this Ghost Rider by the homies over at Snapdragon. Haven't tried this yet, very excited to try it. And I guess we'll use our new hot knife as well. So let's load this shit up and take a hit. Cheers. That hits hard. That hits hard as shit. Woo. Okay. So a couple couple things about this. <coughs> so there's three different heat settings. It's, uh, green is the lowest, and then blue, and then like a yellowy color, kind of like a you know, like a yellow or gold color. Maybe because of honey. It's probably the honey color. Yeah. Duh. Five clicks on, five clicks off. Um, when it first, when you first turn it on, it goes through like a little 20 second, like little preheat mode. After that, then you drop in your wax. 
You probably could put your turp rolls in before that. I put in them at, I put them in after, but whatever. Two clicks gets you like a little sesh mode, or you can just hold the button down for like like a manual mode, like a hold, like a hold to hit type situation. It has adjustable airflow on both sides. Unless you cut it down like real low, it feels pretty wide open. I went wide open and it gave me a really, really big hit. <laughs> Maybe almost too big. Maybe too big to spin the per turp pearls. The inside of this little cap has a turp pearl spinner in it. It's like directed airflow, so it gets your turp pearls going. It gets the people going. When you hit the, the button twice, it starts kind of pulsating whatever color uh, you have it on. Mine was green, so it started pulsating green. And then eventually that, it stops pulsating and it just becomes like a, a, like a solid light. You know what I mean? It doesn't, doesn't turn on and off anymore. And that's how you know it's ready to go. It's all preheated. It uh, actually hits really well. <laughs> almost too well uh the lowest heat setting which is the one i did is uh a heat range from 450 to 500 i think it said 550 yeah. oh <laughs> click it three times if you want to change the 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 output i call it the volume <laughs> i guess it it does increase the volume of your clouds and maybe i've been saying it right this whole time but the main thing i like about this is it looks like a regular vape like i see people that have vapes that look like this out and about all the fucking time it looks like something that doesn't have weed in it <laughs> you know what i mean and and that's what i really like about it kids you fool your parents with <laughs> i'm just kidding if you're under the age of whatever the legal smoking age is in your state you probably shouldn't smoke. I did, but you probably shouldn't. <coughs> but then again, it was illegal everywhere when I was when I was a kid. So, well, I'm not really a kid, you know, a young adult, <laughs> teenager. Um, but yeah, man, the, the wax made honey mod, man, this shit's pretty dope. I actually like this a lot. Uh, the box that it came in is also pretty. Points for a pretty box. I don't know. It's a very, very cool thing though. Is it still on? It is. She clog. I think I accidentally sucked one of the turp pearls up. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, that's better. I think I was like, I had it tilted back too far and it was just like, swoop. Did not expect that to happen. <laughs> just for everyone's information, because I know you're wondering, uh, this part is made out of plastic. This is plasticky. Uh, this is like kind of silicone rubbery. This is silicone rubbery. And the bottom has a silicone kind of rubber circle on it. So when you put it down on something, it's not just like plastic. It's not like a plastic sound which I like. And then everything else in there is either metal or quartz. Oh, the honey knife also works really well, right? That's what it was called, the honey knife? Yeah. Yeah, that's also pretty cool. A couple other things I really, I really like about this are these two things. Number one, I don't know where it went. Number one, it came with a backup atomizer. If you burn your atomizer, you have a second one ready to go out the gate. And a lot of companies do not include a second atomizer with their shit anymore. I don't know why they stopped including them. I hate that they stopped including them, but Wax made fucking didn't. They also sent me a second glass piece that goes around this whole thing in case this one breaks. Because I know a lot of people that have vapes just like this and they fall over and guess what breaks? The glass part, it's the only part that breaks. And I feel like a lot of companies don't give you extra glass bars. And also this little top piece has this little piece that connects to this. I know it's probably just to keep them together if you want to take the top off to do shit. Cause you can take the top right off like that. If you want to refill it this way, instead of taking off like the whole, like you can just take the whole glass piece off and refill it that way. But I guess for cleaning purposes and stuff. But I feel like this, this little tether area well, also, like, if you, in, in case you drop it, if it's not too bad of a drop, this might help protect that glass piece as well. And also, it came with four turp pearls and extra O-rings. And... 
Q-tips for cleaning purposes. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that shit normal YouTubers tell you to do at the end of their videos. If I have a discount code, I'll leave it right the fuck here. I don't know if I do or not. If I have a reference link, it'll be down in the comments. And for Patreons, I will see y'all after this video for a little bonus, little bonus sesh. Patreons always get a bonus sesh and they get the raw uncut footage from this video. I just realized one of my nails is dirty as shit. Gross. I'm gonna go clean that and then re-record this entire video. It's like, no. This is cool because this could also, you could also use this for cart batteries, like carts, I feel like, because you could just unscrew this part. Oh, can you? Yeah, look. <gasps> Boom. Now, oh, you, can, now so, you can use it for carts. That's so cool. I cannot even speak the name of the vampire that organized that monstrosity. I don't give a f His name was Mike.